the European Court of Human Rights has rejected Azerbaijan's appeal against the ruling in the case of Russian-Israeli blogger and journalist Alexander Lapshin. The case concerned an incident involving Alexander Lapshin's imprisonment in Azerbaijan in 2017 for having crossed the state border outside the checkpoints during journeys to Nagorno-Karabakh. On the night of 11 September 2017, Lapshin was attacked in a solitary confinement cell of a Baku pre-trial detention center. The authorities asserted that the incident had been a suicide attempt, while the applicant alleged it had been an attempted murder. The applicant Lapshin was resuscitated and hospitalized in an intensive care unit. The following day, he was pardoned by the president of Azerbaijan and, upon his discharge from hospital three days later, was expelled to Israel. The European Court found that the inquiry into the prison incident had been ineffective and in breach of Azerbaijan's procedural obligations under Article 2 of the Convention. It found that Azerbaijan had failed to satisfy the burden of proof resting on it to provide a satisfactory and convincing explanation with regards to the incident which had put the applicant's life in danger. There had therefore been a violation of Article 2. The court held that Azerbaijan was to pay the applicant 30,000 euros. Today, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan arrived in Russia on a working visit, during which he will also meet President Vladimir Putin. The leaders will discuss issues related to the implementation of the trilateral statements of November 9, 2020 and January 11, 2021, as well as further steps to strengthen stability, resumption of economic ties and current developments in the region. Nikol Pashinyan and Vladimir Putin will also discuss Armenian-Russian relations, including further integration into regions organizations. COVID-19 has killed 43 people in one day in Armenia. This is the highest rate of this year in a day. According to the Ministry of Health, 5,618 people died of the coronavirus in Armenia. This is a high number for a country with a population a little bit less than 3 million. On October 12, a total of 273,860 cases of coronavirus disease were confirmed, of which 250,055 recovered. 16,959 patients are currently receiving treatments for coronavirus. According to Our World in Data, as of October 11, only 5.7% of Armenia's population was fully vaccinated and 11.6% received one shot. It is now possible to take a virtual tour of the exhibition hall of the Armenian Genocide Museum Institute. Thanks to the joint work of the Armenian Genocide Museum Institute and On Point, a company that creates immersive 3D digital spaces, anyone with a computer can get acquainted with the objects on display on the hall and also read the main text and the explanations of the exhibits.